Hello guys, so to create the ray diagram of the compound microscope, we need to have first the a straight line long enough to hold all the pieces of this diagram and then I will mark it as the focal points. So I will mark at 0 and at 4 centimeter and at 8 centimeter. And then I will mark at 2 centimeter and 6 centimeter as well. So in every 2 centimeter I have given a mark till 8 centimeter. So the third mark which is at 4 centimeter, so that will be the point where my objective lens reside. Now again on the same line, I will create mark at 5 centimeter each. So it will be 0, 5 and 10. So that will be the point of the eyepiece at 5 cm and this will be its focal length. So focal length of eyepiece is this point and this point and focal length of objective is this point and this point. And this will be the twice of focal point length. So now I will create, remember for the objective length, the object will be between 2f and f. So I will just create an object of one and a half centimeter. So, this is my object. Now, I will create the lens. To create the lens, I will use compass. Always remember two things for the objective lens. One is object will be between 2f and f and this lens is thicker or having more power than the eyepiece lens. And you can draw this arc from the 2f okay so i will just remove the extra part and now my lens is complete so now i will create the ray diagram so to create the ray diagram remember one ray will be parallel to the base and another one will be going through the center of the lens and that will create a inverted image but the real image and which is parallel to the base that will pass through the focal point. Because what is the definition of focal point? So everything which is parallel to the base is going through the focal point. So I will just 
create this. So now I will always give the direction of the light. So now this is the point where this real inverted magnified image is created from the objective lens. So this is image of objective lens. So this is real and inverted and magnified. Now going for the eyepiece lens. So let's draw the eyepiece lens. So you can use the compass but it's a very uh, big circle or big arc. So I prefer to draw it by hand but uh, you can have the use of protractor or compass to do that. So this is the eyepiece lens, I will just remove the extra part. Okay. So this is my objective lens. So this is of higher power. And this is my eyepiece lens. lower power and now this ray will move forward okay and this ray will also move forward Now see this image is created between the center of the lens and the focal point. So it will create a virtual inverted magnified image of this image. To know the position of the image. So I should have one line parallel and that will go through so this is virtual so I must not draw it as like this. And then there will be one more point which is going through the center.
and these two ray will also meet at this point. So I'll extend it later. Okay, so this will be the direction of light. So I will place the eye here. And so this is my eye. And then the image will be formed here. So it's much magnified image created by the eyepiece lens. And this image, i.e., will be virtual inverted and magnified. This is the way you can create the ray diagram of the compound microscope. Thanks for watching. Please watch for the next.